Imagine that you have set out on a journey inside your own body. Unbelievable surprises await you. You will see, for instance, that there is a generator in your heart, and that if that generator ceases working, there is a spare one to replace it. You will witness that the cells in your small intestine are able to recognize and catch iron atoms from among the hundreds of different substances that pass in front of them. You will also see how the hormone molecule produced in a hormonal gland in the head region reaches its far distant objective. Looked at from this perspective, the human body is like a city or a world unto itself. Inside that city, there are means of transport, buildings, factories, infrastructure systems, apparatus equipped with a technology far superior to the most advanced human technology, expert personnel displaying an unexpected consciousness, fully equipped troops, and much else beside. Furthermore, this world does not exist in your body alone. Everyone you see around you, your mother, father, brother, or sister, friends, people in the street, actors you watch on television, in short, everyone alive on this earth, and even everyone who has ever lived since the creation of the first human being, possesses this same flawless world. One needs to reflect in a very sincere manner in order to become acquainted with this world and become aware of the proofs of flawless creation within it. The five senses are arranged entirely according to the human need. For instance, the ear can only sense those sound vibrations that are within certain limits. At first glance, to hear within a larger range might seem more advantageous, yet these sensory limits, called the hearing threshold, are regulated for a purpose. If we possessed very sensitive hearing, then we might even hear the noise made by an ant as it walks along. Then, life really would be very irritating for us. The same delicate balance holds true also for the sense of touch. The nerves sensitive to touch lying under the human skin are made sensitive in the best possible way and are spread all over the body. The nerves are amassed mainly on our fingertips. Comparatively, less important regions of the body, such as our backs, have fewer nerves. This provides great advantages for man. Let us imagine if the contrary was the case, that our fingertips were extremely insensitive and that the majority of nerves were collected on our backs. There is no doubt that this would be very troublesome. Development of the organs is an example of this delicate balance. For instance, think about hair and the eyelashes. Although both are ultimately hair, they do not grow equally in the same period. Suppose that eyelashes grew as fast as our hair. They would impede our sight and go into our eyes, thus harming one of our most vital organs. Eyelashes have a certain length that stays constant. If by any means, such as burning or an accident, they shorten, then they elongate until they reach their ideal length and stop again. Even the shape of the lashes is very important. Since they curl slightly upwards, they do not restrict 
sight, and they give the eyes an aesthetic look. As the lashes grow, they are covered by an unusual oil secreted by specific glands located at the rim of the eyelids. This is why our lashes are not rough and straight like a brush. This measured creation is strikingly revealed in the newborn baby as well as in adolescence. For instance, the newborn baby's skull bones are very soft and can, to a limited extent, move over one another. This flexibility facilitates the emergence of the baby's head from the womb without harm. If these skull bones were inflexible, during birth they could crack and cause serious damage to the baby's brain. With the same flawlessness, all of the organs in a human being develop in harmony with each other in the course of development. For example, in the development of the head, the skull that encases the brain grows along with it. A skull developing comparatively slower than the brain would compress it and cause death in a short time. The same balance is also true for other organs, such as the heart, lungs, and thorax, the eye, and eye socket. For this reason, it is useful to examine the extraordinary structures of our body to see the art and might in the creation. Every part of our body, the structures of which is more perfect than the most advanced factories equipped with the latest technologies, displays the matchless creation of God and proves his sovereignty over our entire body. Let us cite another very important example for our lives. Speech is an effortless function of most human beings. Man never plans how far apart the vocal cords should be, how often they should vibrate, in which sequence, how often, and which of the hundreds of muscles in the mouth, tongue, and throat should be contracted and relaxed nor does he calculate how many cubic centimeters of air should be inhaled into the lungs, and how fast and at which frequency this air should be exhaled. We could not do this even if we wanted to. Even a single word uttered from the mouth is an outcome of the collective working of many systems, stretching from man's respiratory system to the nervous system, from the muscles to the bone. What happens in case of a problem in this coordination? Different expressions might appear on our faces when we want to smile, or we might not manage to talk or walk when we want to. However, we can smile, talk, walk anytime we want, and no problems occur, because everything mentioned here is accomplished as a result of the fact of creation, which logically requires infinite intelligence and power. For this reason, man should always remember that he owes his being and life to his creator, God. There is nothing for man to be arrogant or boastful about. His health, beauty, or strength is not his own work, and it is not given to him eternally he certainly will become old and lose his health and beauty. In the Quran, this is stated as, Anything you have been given is only the enjoyment of the life of this world and its finery. What is with God 
is better and longer lasting, so will you not use your intellect?